oh my god my mum did this horrendous bubbly loud fart when we were walking home and this girl just stared at us with the most disgusted look on her face it was so humiliating and it stunk I am tired, my makeup's dripping down my face and my wig's itchy and this is the second time I've tried filming this because the footage was all weird but um, I really want to get this haul to you because I went shopping today in Lakeside with my mum and if you heard that sound it wasn't a fart, I rubbed my finger accidentally by my cupboard and it made a squeaky fart sound but yeah I'll leave that to my mum. Um, so yeah I want to get this to you, um, the Lush stuff will be at the end so try if you want to just see the Lush haul you can skip a bit um, until you see lush looking products if you want to see like uh, what I got for that but yeah um I've I went to Waterstones as well and um Kingdom of Sweets so I'll do hauls on those first because that's the less products I got okay so the first thing I got in Waterstones um it's out of two things is Chloe Moonen's Monster Hunter it, I wasn't going in there for this but I just loved the artwork it's like a comic manga kind of thing well it's a comic because you read it like a regular way you'd read a book so yeah I guess and it's like American based I think um, it was £2.80 and I'll read you the synopsis of that Chloe Noonan doesn't have any special powers she can't lift heavy objects she can't run without getting a stitch and she's kind of not bothered about saving the world oh and she hates the band she sometimes plays in in fact she hates everything it's tough being a monster hunter okay especially when it involves getting the boss <laughs> it's got quite witty humour so I thought I'd enjoy that so yeah that was £2.80 um, and the book that I actually initially went to get was um, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time um, we had a class read of this in year 8 and I loved it. I don't think we ever got to finish it so it's great, I can't remember the ending so it will actually be like I'm reading it for the first time but I know I already like it if that makes sense. But um, yeah, ever since that year 8 class I've been writing it down and forgetting it. Writing it down after remembering it and putting it somewhere else and forgetting it. But yeah, I saw this um, when I was coming out of the train station advertising because I think um, Mark Haddon, Haddon I think that's how you pronounce it, um, also got like seven awards for something and that's why it was like advertising but yeah um i'll read you the synopsis of this as well the curious incident of the dog in the night time is a murder mystery novel like no other the detective and narrator is christopher boone i think that's how you pronounce it either that or bone but it's double o so i think it's boone boone um christopher is 15 and has asperger's sistro syndrome he knows a very great deal about maths and very little about human beings he loves lists patterns and the truth i almost said he loves tits he might love tits, I don't know. He hates the colours yellow and brown and being touched. Maybe he doesn't like tits then. He has never <laughs> he has never gone further than the end of the road on his own. But when he finds a neighbour's dog murdered, he sets out on a terrifying journey which will turn his world, whole world upside down. Um, this was £7.99 and totally worth it. Like I said, I can't remember exactly what happens, but I know I liked the book when we was reading it as a class. And I really, I've been wanting to read it on my own since then because it was always like... My teacher would always skip chapters for some reason or I wouldn't I would have forgotten what happened since the last class kind of thing so it's great that I finally managed to get myself a copy of this. So thank you advertisements at the buses, train stations, they do help. I also went into a store called Kingdom of Sweets and just got like a big pick and mix. Well it's not really big but it's big to me because I love sweets. I got this. Every time I go to a sweet shop, a big sweet shop, I have to get one of these. They're just amazing. Or the big circle lollies. And, yeah, I don't know the pricings of these. It's just, I think it was like £6 something. And it doesn't look a lot for £6, but I wouldn't eat that all in one go. It's, wow, yeah. Okay, finally. So, um, Lush. Yeah? <laughs> okay, I might try and stick to the order of what is on my receipt, because it might feel a bit more orderly to me so I'm going to try that. So the first thing on my receipt here is the Soft Koa Massage Bar. It is wrapped up like this and it's really amazing. It's a massage bar and it says our massage bars are just like a bar of chocolate. They melt at body temperature and turn to rich oil in your skin. Melt the whole of this little heart directly onto your skin or into onto someone else. Licking is optional. So yeah, it's a massage bar, but of course you can just rub it on yourself and it's it acts as a cream if you've got really dry skin. Uh, excuse me, I know some people don't like having the feel of oil, but you can get like this powder dust, which I think is just like um, um, talcum powder, baby powder, um, just to dry it up a bit so it's not so oily to touch. So yeah, it looks like that. I won't touch it too much because, like it says, it does melt right at body temperature, but... It smells amazing, it smells like chocolate vanilla and it's absolutely delicious smelling. Um, apparently, like the lady who was serving me was actually my um, 
friend's sister and um, apparently someone actually took a bite out of this because they thought it was chocolate and I don't blame them it looks absolutely delicious but I wouldn't eat it apparently it tasted nice as well I wouldn't eat it <laughs> the next thing was curly whirly now this is actually for my mum she when, I, when we went to Lakeside she wanted to go into Lush because she wanted to see the pro some products and this was the second time for me so I kind of knew about some things kind of didn't my own research kind of thing and um yeah so we really went in there for her to buy some stuff but she said I can share her things as well and she also bought me some stuff so um yeah this is the curly whirly coconut shampoo and it's a rich shampoo base that will cr that we crammed full of rich coconut to add a deep condition to the hair and definition of your curls and it's quite a big chunky thing it's got used by date on it as well um it smells very coconutty and it is very like soft to the touch. It's kind of like a jelly kind of feel to me. It's really nice though. It's got like a smoky undertone to me, I think. I I like it. It's nice. <laughs> I can't remember if I've already said this or if it was in the recording that went bad. But the price list is going to be in the down bar. Um, but yeah. Another thing I got... Um, package like this was the butter ball bath ball stick and it says run yourself the perfect temperature bath get in and then take a moment to let go of the world outside your bathroom before launching your ballistic ball stick into the water and watch it fizz away i was going to get dragon egg but i've still got some of my other one left because um i smashed it so it's in little bits even though it's more fun to watch it all fizz away i just kind of liked it so much that i want to save it <laughs> so it looks like this it says lush on the front and i think it smells kind of like just like fresh cotton kind of soft smell that's what I get from it it's smaller than um, the other, so I think it's one of the smaller uh, bath ballistics as you'll see because I've got another one which is quite a big one okay something that's really fun get yeah, is fun <laughs> that's the joke I know I'm terrible at jokes it feels amazing it's like play-doh it's so much fun to play with and I think the aim of this was um, to help uh, the people affected by the tsunami in um, Japan a while ago well not a while ago, kind of recent because they're probably still affected by it and it's just to bring fun into children's lives again um, I got the one that smells like candy and it really does smell like candy, it's amazing I probably look really high off my head but I've just been stuffing my head in that Lush bag since I got the product, it's just my mum's just as bad, she's got a tissue where she like wiped her hands to wash off some of the products she was testing and she keeps taking it out of her pocket and inhaling it, I swear it looks like she's like chlorophylling herself or whatever it is um, but yeah, that was fun uh, my mum, again this one was aimed at is American Dream, apparently it goes great with the curly whirly shampoo that she got and this is the hair conditioner it says bring all the boys to the yard with this strawberry vanilla milkshake conditioner, double strength and extra creamy to leave your hair gorgeously soft and smelling sweetly and it smells amazing it's kind of like a flowery vanilla I, I would say, it's very florally but you can smell vanilla, it, that's kind of the main it's supposed to be strawberry vanilla but I can smell flowers and vanilla that's why I smell <laughs> next is um, the vanilla solid uh, perfumes I think well not vanilla my one is vanilla my mum got one in Karma and they're by the uh, Gorilla line I think it's called so this is my one it's vanilla right it's called and uh, looks like that it's really nice apparently these ones all smell differently on other people's skin like you wait and you smell it every now and then it smell it kind of changes i don't know why but you just push it up i won't do it because i can't bother but you push up and it comes up and then when you push down and put the lid on it will go back to being in the actual container so that's my one vanilla ray and it smells really good like vanilla really strong though and then this orangey one is called karma and that's my mum's one and it smells very musky kind of woodsy and I can smell a sense of orange coming out it's really nice definitely give these a try they're so interesting so unique like I've never had a solid perfume before and it's amazing and I put this on my wrist like hours ago it's still on so <laughs> it's amazing uh, the next one is twilight bath ballistic I don't really like opening stuff until I actually oh shit use it oh but I can't really get it out because it's really powdery but that's what it looks like it's amazing it smells like candy, like the fun one. I think the lady, because I asked, um, the girl asked me what kind of scents I like, and I said really sweet vanilla scents, kind of things like that. 
and she directed me to this bath ballistic but then she said if you want something fun um check out these it smells similar to the twilight and i ended up just getting both so um yeah and something we also got um little testers not testers but like sprays of the actual perfumes um that were in there not the solid ones but the actual proper perfumes and they all smell really great they smell kind of the same now because they've all been sitting together um, and something we got for free is Hair Doctor Hair and Scalp Mask because of the amount we spent. And it says if you're really, if you've really got your hair in a bad way, then you need this stimulating mask made from seaweeds and mud. And that looks amazing. Oh gosh, mud in your hair just screams fun to me. I don't know why. So it looks like it's very, very minty. It smells kind of like Listerine. I kind of worried of putting that on my head. It might sting, but. Um, no, I guess it would sting if you've got like cuts and stuff, but I guess you'll find out if you've got a cut on your scalp. Um, yeah, um, that was amazing. This pole, wow. Just wow. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll list the pricings and stuff down below. It might not be in the order of how I've read them out, but at least it's there kind of thing. Like I said, I think I said, I don't remember if I said it in this video, but you can check out their website and um it will tell you down there and also i found out with the masks i think for hair masks and face masks you can put them in the free like take a bit out and put it in the freezer um or something like that to make it last longer because i've still got my cupcake mask from like january and it's way gone off but i still use it and i know that's terrible but i really didn't want to throw it away and apparently now i found out you can put it in the freezer so you don't waste it all yeah a bit too late for me but i've got some masks now now I can kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Lastly, 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 well, kind of lastly, I've been given some um, samples of the oily skincare kind of thing. The first one is moisturiser, and it's, I think it's called Enzymion. Yeah. You can use on face in gentle upward strokes. It's great for oily skins when under makeup to hold help hold makeup in, a, in, in place. It's in a little cute black little tester tube, and it just looks like that. It smells quite nice as well. It's just um, it smells like fresh perfumey kind of scent. And I'm, I'm not very good at describing. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But yeah, that's the Enzymeon moisturizer. Um, I went there wanting to try out Dark Angels cleanser, but I didn't want to pay the whole price because I didn't know what it'd be like. It's like a mask. It's a slightly exfoliating mask. And it says, pinch off a small piece-sized piece of Dark Angels, put it in the palm of your hand, add a little water and mix to a paste or milk texture. Then apply to your face, massage over the face and then rinse off with warm water. And it looks like that, like coal, like powdery coal stuff. It looks really cool and kind of scary to put on your face, but fun at the same time. Um, with these samples, I don't know how much they would be and I can't be bothered to look on the Lush websites to put them in for you. I might be nice to check just in case in the down bar, but if not, easy as just check on Lush, type in the name of it and you'll find it. Um, the next, the last one is the Tea Tree Toner. Um, I've been hearing good result, uh, reviews on this. My friend Chloe, who really, you already know, I'm seeing her tomorrow, I can't wait. Um, she's got a review on it. Um, I'll link that video down below actually and it says close your eyes tightly and spritz directly onto your face and leave to air dry or spray onto a cotton wool and use to wipe away traces of dirt and product you can use it as a makeup remover and I said um like oh god I keep squeaking um you can use it throughout the day if you're not wearing makeup and I asked what happens if you put it on makeup because I found out it's makeup remover she goes well if you don't wipe it away and you spritz very lightly it will be alright, apparently, so I might try that, it might not work, I don't know, but I guess it depends how you use it. It will just kind of refresh your face, I assume, if you do it that way. Um, you can't really see, but... Oops, it's been like leaking a little bit. It's really nice. Yeah, I can't show you, it's just liquid. It's That's what it is. Oh, it's lovely. Oh god, it's spilling everywhere. And probably, by the time I actually go to use it, it's probably, like, all going to be leaked out. But, um, the thought was there. I love the smell. It's amazing. I'll probably end up just buying it anyway. <sighs> I also got, like, a Boost. If you guys have not been to Boost, go to Boost. It's amazing. They are fruit smoothies, and they're 
Oh, ah, lovely. I also got ice cream. I can't remember where I got the ice cream from, but it was yummy. And I want to get cupcakes, but it's too full, so I didn't get cupcakes. But I got a business card. And the lady there asked me where I got my hood from. You know this hood. It's the cat hood. Yeah, and I totally just whacked myself in the eye when I did that. But yeah, um, she said, where did you get it from? And I was like, oh, I think I got it from Blue Banana. And they was like, oh yeah, because I went to Expo. I was like, oh my gosh, you went to Expo. I didn't go to Expo, but I was like, oh my gosh, you went to Expo. Ah. And she was like, yeah, and loads of people wearing them. And I really want to know where they were. And I was like, oh, well, I got this from Blue Banana. Maybe they got it from there. So yeah, I'm holding it now. I'm going to assume it was still recording. I'm kind of scared to put it down. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Bye. <laughs> See you later.